I'm back on my bike. Come on! Good morning, it is Sunday and I'm out for a walk and hopefully this will be the last time I have to exercise without getting out on my bike. <laughs> uh, it is, yeah, like I say, it's Sunday morning, it is a beautiful, beautiful day and uh, I nearly fell off my chair this morning when I saw that it was sunny. <laughs> it makes a change after all the rain and crappy weather we've had lately. Um, so anyway, you'll have to excuse my socks today, it's the only socks I could find this morning, is my old Christmas ones. Uh, but I don't care about things like that. Uh, today I'm heading along a walk today near where I live. Um, I've been meaning to go there for some time. It's an old airfield uh, which is still kind of in active use by the farmer uh, for a few visitors and stuff. But uh, anyway, I've never actually managed to get down there. So today I'm doing that because it's close to my house and I can do it quickly. Uh, so I intend to be out for about an hour today and burn a few calories and condition my legs ready for a bike ride later in a week. Yeah. There shouldn't really be that much water running down the brook in August, uh, but there is, and I've resigned myself to the fact that I'm probably going to get soaking wet feet. My wellies are in my other car, which is at work. Uh, so there's a lot of water runoff still running down the road from the rain we've had over the last few days, so I will get soaking wet feet today, but I don't really care. I just need to get out and do a good walk, long walk. I have to say, that's not a good sign that it's just coming into the road like that, because... Normally it's far worse when you get around the corner here. Uh, so I should be maybe getting uh, wet feet long before I anticipated. <laughs> Man. Surprisingly, it's quite clear down here, which is good, because I'm not too far from where I need to turn off for my footpath. Well, here's my entrance to my footpath. I almost walked straight past it. What's this down here? Nothing much. Right, let's go up in and see what animals are in there. Not a big fan of other people's animals, uh, but it's unavoidable when you have to go across someone's farmland. So let's see what we've got. A few sheep. Someone's already walked up here this morning already. There's normally some llamas in here, so let's go and see what's going on with these guys. Squelch it. It's handy that someone's been here before me, of course, because I can see where the footpath goes. <laughs> Hello, guys. Stay where you are. Good sheep. There you go. Well done, boys and girls. Always close the gate behind you. Don't want to get shouted at by the farmer. Oh, great dog. <laughs> Probably get attacked by a dog now. Oh. Dog with a muzzle on doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, come as a great surprise to find another uh, really badly marked out footpath. I'm just guessing where it goes. I assume it's up here. Could be over there. Hello guys. Let's see what's down here. Okay. Well this does look like a bit like an old airstrip. So let's go and see what's what. Right fellas. I see someone walking their dog up there. I'm going to send a photograph to one of my mates. He's going to come and visit uh, in his aeroplane soon on a business trip. Uh, so he'll be landing here. So I'll get a photo so you can see what it's like. 
I did actually have an interesting thought just then. Well, for me, maybe not you. Uh, but uh, years ago, I used to fly radar controlled aeroplanes and always used to be on the lookout for places like this to come and have a little fly. And normally, if you can find a farmer with an airstrip, they love it if someone comes and flies their planes there. So I uh, may have to uh, look into that in the future and get my planes back out or buy some more because I sold them all. And uh, this would be a nice place to fly. And it's just around the corner from my house. This dog up here has literally been watching me like a hawk for a few minutes now. <laughs> so I hope I don't get attacked. Apologise also if you can hear me uh, huffing and puffing. I got really chesty in my house the last few days with all the dust and stuff. It's being redecorated this week so that should kill some of the dust. But for the moment, really chesty. Not fun. Here we go mate, what are you doing? I'm not a sheep. Sheep don't talk mate. What are you going to do? Run off or attack? Here we go. Trying to, uh, what's it, the pincer movement. Hey mate, what are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? Where's your owner? Is your owner up here? Go for a walk? No? Actually, I think that dog only had one eye, so I'm getting out of here. Well, that is the end of my footpath, and that is the airstrip. I'll get another photo, it's clearer from this end. Uh, the dog actually ran off in that direction, so uh, it must have been a farm dog. Uh, a nice little bench here for you to sit and uh, plain spot, but you could be waiting months uh, on end, waiting for something to come in here, I think. I see no uh, evidence that anything's been down here for a long time, but. Uh, Particularly with the grounds in it being so boggy. Dartmoor over there. There's a little fire over there and uh, some houses. That's where I live. Okay, so that path's down. And my next footpath should be just down here on the left-hand side. Which uh, should be a little bit more exciting because it goes into some woods, I think. A bit of forest, which would be quite interesting. So I can see if it's worth riding the bike down here. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, footpath sign, obviously broken. Welcome to Devon, where you have to guess everything. Is that a footpath sign? Doesn't look much like a footpath to me. I'm gonna get soaking wet feet. That does say footpath, so that's where I'm going. Well, it is actually more like a river at the moment, so I'm flanked by water, so hopefully I can get along here without getting soaking. Oh, it does look a bit dry over there. So, let's get to it. I hope I don't pick up any ticks on the way. Oh, oh man, this is soggy. My feet are soaking wet now anyway, so uh, all I've got to worry about now is getting covered in mud. <laughs> Dodging those puddles. Well, it'll be interesting to see where I think I have to go here. It must be down that way. I don't think it's down there. Oh man, this is soggy. Footpath over there. Right, don't think it is. Oh. It's definitely not there, is it? That is not it. I'm going down here. Well, I literally can't get down there. It's just overgrown with stinging it all, so I won't be doing that. Uh, maybe it does go through the middle of the field. But where? Let's have a quick look over here. I do see footsteps, so let's hope for the best this way. Don't want to trample on someone's field, but equally, if the footpath goes through the middle of it, they shouldn't be obstructing it. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. I just uh, skirting around this field and saw a nice lady uh, doing some gardening on a garden that backs onto this. And I was asking her where the footpath actually goes, and she was telling me it used to be a lovely footpath going across that field. Then the land got sold, and a new farmer came along. And just decided to grow his crops all over it. He's knocked the sign down, the one I showed you earlier. He knocked that down with his tractor, apparently. And um, 
there used to be a four meter border apparently around this field but which is no longer there obviously he's trying to get as much use out of his land as possible but he is obstructing a footpath which is not cool but the lady did also say that this does come out where i want it to come but not how i wanted it to well this is what i'm up against and i need to go that way and to be fair i don't want to damage anyone's stuff but the farmer is putting his stuff here and he shouldn't be so i am going through here hope i don't get cut Lower. Oh, I lost my shades. I feel like I'm in an American horror film. I hope this doesn't go on for too long. Someone else has walked down here. Put my glasses on. Cover my eyes. I bet you weren't expecting this. I certainly wasn't. Naughty former. This is definitely Jeepers Creepers style, and I'm really hoping I'm getting to the end of this because this is not fun, really. Idiot farmer. Oh. Come on, man, when will it end? <laughs> oh, a bit lighter here. No, just another field of the same stuff. Sorry guys, hopefully uh, be out with this in a minute. I think I can see some woodland over there, which is where I should be heading. So I'm going to just see if I can poke this periscope up there and see what's going on around me. I don't really know where I am. I probably could get the GoPro app on my phone and have a look, see what's going on. But then I'd have to log in and do all that stuff. I can't be bothered. Uh, but if anyone wants some corn, there's loads here and it's in my way. I've also been stung by a stinging nettle or something, which is uh, obviously enjoyable. <laughs> Oh man, what, what what do I do these things for? Ah, is that a footpath down there? Yeah, get in. No, it's wet. What the actual? Oh man, where do I go? Do I continue going where I was going? Or do I go in this one? This is still that farmer's field, so that is where I stay. Which one was I in? Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. It is thinning out and there's some woods. I'll have to try and find a way to get in today where the footpath should continue. Uh, oh, this is not much fun, it has to be said, but it's good exercise, it's hard work. <laughs> also, I accidentally left my phone screen on so my battery's nearly died on my phone. So, uh, hopefully I can get home before Strava shuts itself down. <sighs> right, what's this? This looks a bit more promising. I reckon that is where the field footpath should go and come out here. Oh man, that was hard work. More stingers. Yeah, obviously. I think actually this, uh, that's where I came from. I think this is where I should have come. So I should have cut into that other field because it looks like that's where the footpath goes. It's the only footpath around here. And then we come to the uh, Devon County Council public footpath post which shows it in that direction. What does that mean? Down there? Up there? Up there? Idiots. Okay, so I found this sign and it says that the public footpath is down here and the private property, no entry. And there's also another sign for the public footpath. Uh, I would definitely be coming back here, particularly if it's owned by the same dude that has done that field. I'm gonna come and run my bike around here and have some fun. I think this is the footpath. This is actually a pretty cool place in here. And this does connect to uh, a couple of months ago when I went out for a walk with my lad. This was just literally before my feet got bad. 
I went for a walk and there was like an old water mill and uh, all that kind of thing. This connects to that in that direction. And this does look like a really cool place to come and explore. So I'm definitely coming back here for more exploration because there's some more paths and tracks around here which look interesting, which I'm yet to get around to doing. So that will be for another day. But today I'll keep going this way. It's nice, nice and cool in here. Okay, so I made it out the other side. Actually, I think there's another footpath over here. Yeah. We'll have to check where that one goes, because that looks quite interesting. Yeah, another footpath. Ah, okay, obviously people don't clear up after their dogs in there. Sounds nice. So uh, I'll check out on the map where that goes to, because I do fancy getting down there another time. Oh, anyway, uh, in my shoe, I have a bit of grit or something which is causing some distress uh, to my feet but I don't want to have to take my shoe off because my feet are soaking wet and I might not get my foot back in the shoe so I'm just gonna have to grin and bear it I've got to do it it's getting too much it's just poking in my foot every uh, step so it's coming off hopefully I can get it back on oh, that one's bad. oh my back oh damn it there's a car coming Uh, quick, 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 get in there. Uh. <laughs> this is quite a stunning place to live. I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, we love it around here. I am pleased to report that uh, I am now able to do walks like this without my feet hurting. Um, after... Obviously I have my bad feet, uh, they've got loads better since then and uh, you know I'm not having any grief from them at all apart from perhaps a couple of minutes, maybe first thing in the morning sometimes they feel a bit tender underneath for some reason who knows what's going on there but uh, throughout the rest of the day causing me no problems whatsoever uh, which is good of course for my surfing and stuff because I use my feet a lot there and uh, well I <laughs> stand up so I use my feet there as well but uh, walking is good and I'm pleased that I'm able to do that again I still want to be out my bike then. Clean my shoes off a bit. My feet are soaking wet anyway, so I don't care about a bit of water. Well, never been down this road, despite it being uh, about a mile from my house, so I'm going to go down here. This will connect me up to the top end of the airfield again, and I shall walk back that way because it is more exciting than the roadway that way. <laughs> Shouldn't be too far down here. That is a seriously nice house in there. Don't know if you can see it through there, but that. I like trying that. <laughs> the land. Does look nice up there, but I won't venture up there. I think that belongs to the nice lady I was talking to earlier, so I uh, won't be venturing up there, I'm afraid. Nearly back at the airfield. These sheep have uh, literally got a giant field <laughs> to play with, and they all just congregate around here, probably because that's where the food comes from, I'd imagine. <laughs> yep, yeah, there's their food over there. Strange to see a farmer with an airstrip, but no aeroplane. Right, I've come all this way now, and there was a sheep blocking my gate. So I hope it moves, because uh, I'm scared of animals. I'm not really scared of animals, but they're unpredictable, like these two over here having a fight. 
Have a good old fight there, mate. Two goats having a scrap. So, I hope this guy moves out of the way, because I don't like unpredictable animals. <laughs> and all animals are unpredictable. Move! Move! Oh, yeah, he's on the move. Come on, buddy. Off you go. Move! That might antagonise him, actually, so I shall refrain. Hey, guys. This guy does not like uh, people, I don't think. He's big one. There. I should have my wits about me. Hope I don't get rammed. Hello? The camera. Please stay there. Bit, bit scared at night, I have to say. And I can't look what they're doing because I'm doing this, but I'm sure they're okay. Just a little guy. And another little guy. Just interested in what I'm doing. Can you keep an eye on them for me, please? They're not interested in me, are they? Home run. Thanks, buddies. Well, I managed not to get killed by a sheep. Uh, I can hear a woodpecker just in here, but I can never see the things. Keep pecking, mate. This is for my own amusement, more than anything, but uh, a couple of acorns just nearly landed on my head. So I'm going to have a little game of uh, uh, rounders. Yes. <clears throat> I don't crack my screen. Yes. I don't know where that one went, but I've got to uh, hit all three of them eventually. <laughs> So a few people who have been watching my videos have been uh, commenting saying that um, perhaps I should do a little bit about what I'm eating as well because obviously a big thing of it is uh, not eating so much bad stuff but obviously I'm also not doing the uh, just eating lettuce and rabbit food kind of thing either so uh, I'm just watching what I eat more than anything. So a few people have uh, suggested that uh, that I just uh, sort of document what I'm eating each week as well. So if you think that would be of interest let me know in the comments and uh, if enough people think that that would be a good idea, then I'll do it in a couple of weeks. Shout out to Elaine and Adam. You know who you are. Thanks for watching. Right, that's done. 6.2 miles. Took two hours. Wow. Okay. It's a bit longer than I was planning on going out for, but there we are. I'm going to go and have a shower and a nice coffee. See you soon. Has he gone? Yeah. My hero. There was a wasp. She got it out. Don't like wasps. This is my new GoPro mount, so I'm just going to follow you everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for buying a t-shirt, Chris Bannister. Just burnt my arm. <laughs> yes, I'm back on my bike. Come on! So here I am, back on my bike. It must be a couple of weeks, really, since I've been uh, out in the saddle, and uh, it does uh, feel good to be back on the bike, I have to say. My legs actually feel really good, considering. I've been pushing it a bit earlier. And uh, my bum isn't too sore, which is good. And the good news is my back is 99% cleared up now, which is awesome. Uh, so, I've actually been down the post office already today uh, because I had to drop a couple of uh, signs to a couple of businesses in Butte this morning. So I did the post office run then. However, I had someone buy a t-shirt in the week. Chris Bannister, thank you. And. Uh, He's requested that I ride it to the post office. So I left that one behind this morning. It's in my bag. So this one is for you, Chris. Thanks for buying the t-shirt. And happy to uh, ride it there for you. 
So anyway, super busy at work. Combination of having to take a day off basically last week to pick up my wife, which was a nightmare with the boats and stuff and the weather, geez. But uh, Friday, a very busy day. And then of course, I realized it's a blooming bank holiday weekend. What a pain. I hate them things. When you're a self-employed sole trader like I am, they are a pain in the backside. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so full on day yesterday, super busy, but I had Sam with me, so uh, didn't get a lot of work done. So I'm really on the case today, but I've made time to get out my bike, because uh, it had to be done. I was going mad. <laughs> so here I am, not far from the top. And I'll enjoy the view until I get there. A few waves. Oh. Also, super out of breath. I'm very chesty. We had a new ceiling fitted in our house last week. Uh, and there was lots of plaster dust in my lungs, obviously. This week, the decorators are in and they're painting everything. So, uh, lots of paint fumes as well. Chain is still slipping. So for the next week or so, I'm going to be really chesty, but I'm just glad to be on my bike. Come on. So it's quite windy today, but it's a nice warm breeze. And uh, I have to be honest, I have to really start making the most of it because it won't be long until the weather goes a bit cat. And uh, then I'll be moaning how cold it is. But uh, it suits me actually. Nice warm breeze today. And a lot of the tourists have gone home. Schools are filtering back now, of course, so uh, uh, might post some good times on the roads again, so uh, not being held up by the tourists. But uh, today, it's pretty quiet. There you go, Chris. You should see that in a few days' time. Nearly back now. Uh, I uh, couldn't find a clean water bottle, so I had to use the one that was in uh, my bottle cage on my bike and it's been there for at least two weeks and it still has some water in it, minging. Uh, but I don't have a washing up basin at work, so I've had to rinse out with some clean uh, bottled water and uh, hope for the best. So if all my videos are for me on the toilet tomorrow, you'll know what that's about. <laughs> Nearly back. Okay, so where are we at? 7.6 miles, uh, pretty standard, same as any other time I've done that one. Uh, but uh, no, definitely felt good to be out on the bike today. Uh, two weeks is too long to not be on the bike, uh, but uh, my back now is almost pretty much uh, perfect. So uh, nothing's stopping me now. I shall be out again tomorrow, uh, barring any torrential uh, bad weather or anything like that. But uh, until tomorrow, see you later. Bye. Hey guys, it is Thursday and today there will be uh, no cycling during the day anyway uh, because I didn't realise I'd have a little sprog here today. Um, we've got a lot going on at our house today. Uh, we've got the electrician in, uh, we've got painters in and a carpenter I think. Something. So there's lots going on anyway so he's got nowhere to play at home. Uh, the weather's crappy so he can't even play in the garden. Uh, so he's here with me today but I should be taking him home fairly soon. And then I can come back and hopefully be able to pop out on my bike for a bit. But uh, that really depends what time that happens. So uh, um, hopefully I will get some exercise in today. But if I don't, then uh, I'll just have to cry about it because I can't do much about it. But uh, either way, it is weighing day tomorrow. So if you don't see me later, I'll see you tomorrow. now Friday morning um, now sadly I didn't get a chance to get on my bike yesterday I was just too busy at work um, and ultimately that has to come first because I have to feed my family and stuff like that so I hope you understand um, I was hoping to get out yesterday for a bike ride but time just did not allow for it anyway it is uh, weigh day today so I'm gonna get on with it my weight last week was 109.2 kilos it did go up last week obviously I had my week off uh, so that's the result of that 
hopefully uh, there isn't a little bit of tailwind uh, to that as well so hopefully it hasn't carried over into this week uh, as well but it could have done I'm sort of prepped a little bit for that um, obviously I didn't get out as much as I wanted to exercise this wise uh, this week uh, you know given that I didn't get out yesterday but I did have a really nice walk at the weekend um, and uh, and uh, did get out on my bike, uh, you know, this week as well. So we might be okay. So let's go and have a look. 109.2 kilos to beat. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, 109.2 kilos was last week's weight. Hopefully we can uh, bring that down a little bit and get a bit closer to my target weight of 106. It's changed to damn stones and what's it. So I'm going to change that back. Okay, let's try again. Uh, 109.2 to beat. Okay, uh, so that's the weight done for today. 109.1 uh, kilos is today's weight, uh, which means I have lost 100 grams, which uh, is not as good as I would have wanted, uh, but it is a step in the right direction. Um, given I haven't been out doing a whole heap of exercise this week. Um, so, what is coming up in the next week? Um, I will be taking my bike down to the post office today. Um, now, I don't know if uh, people haven't been watching for a little bit. I've just opened my business up locally as well as selling online. I've been doing online selling for years. Um, I've started printing for local businesses and stuff uh, in the, over the last couple of months. And I'm pretty busy, <laughs> it has to be said. I've taken a lot of work on, um, but um, obviously I still need to get down to post office every day. So wherever possible, I will be cycling my bike down there or walking or whatever. Um, but also um, have to deliver stuff locally to companies that might be too big to put in my bag or one with a, a pavement sign the other day. I can't take that on my bike, obviously. Uh, so today I will be taking my bike down there for anything that I can take uh, on my bike. Anything else, I'll have to whip it in the car. Um, I don't know if you can see that with this camera angle, but uh, I've got a whole bunch of stickers which I've been making for people uh, and they all will need delivering today to local businesses. So uh, that is taking up a bit of my time at the moment, it has to be said, but uh, not moaning about that at all. Uh, also, uh, I've mentioned uh, a couple of times about I might do a little diary about what I'm eating as well. So I'm hoping I can remember to do that this week. I'm just about to have my lunch. I always do this. I do my video uh, and then I have my lunch. Uh, so I will be doing that now and uh, that will be really exciting for you guys so tune in next week to see what I'm eating and uh, hopefully I don't show myself up too much but uh, I'll be honest you know this is real life and let's see what happens so thank you for tuning in please do a subscribe if you haven't already that's you um, also give us a like and do a comment I will always reply to your comments so thank you for other people that have commented and uh, that's it I'll see you next week for week 35 maybe can't really remember, but uh, by the bye, let's go. See you later. Get out there.